Hey, what's up my Koopa Troop, it's Koops, and welcome back to some more Plants vs. Zombies minigames. We're now on to Whack a Zombie, which is a pretty basic minigame. You guys have seen it before. It's a very simple one where the zombies pop up and you go, hey, zombies, pow, right in the face, right in the kisser, just like that. And I, I powed that zombie and one popped up and it kind of looked like he jumped up there. This is a very easy one on the iPad. I imagine it's much more difficult on the PC where you have to actually move your mouse and click on the zombie. I can see where that would be a little more challenging. On the iPad, I just have to lift up my finger and tap on them, so it's pretty easy. Now, you might be wondering why I got rid of the one up there, as opposed to maybe the first uh, you know, the first gravestone or first tombstone. Well, the reason is, is because the zombies can only pop out of the tombstone, so if you get rid of an entire lane like I did up there, no zombies will come out of that lane, meaning I only have to worry about these bottom three lanes. Well, now that fourth lane up there as well. If I can get some more sun from killing one of these guys, I will get rid of that one. There we go. So I'll go ahead and grab that right there. You can see you can also spend 25 sun to go ahead and get the potato mine or the cherry bomb if you needed it. But I really don't need it, so that's why I'm not doing it. Now, you remember, the zombies can still eat through your plants, so you got to be a little careful. There we go. I got a chocolate for old... Stinky the snail, and I've got quite a lot of sun here. I'm gonna go ahead and just, I keep using the 75 Grave Buster. My reasoning is because it makes less zombies pop up and it also gives me a coin. So if I can do it, I do it. Go ahead and grab that one right there. Cone heads, remember, take two hits, so that's where that was coming from. I just was kind of clicking around right there and it ends up being a victory for me. I've got quite a lot of sun going on back here, actually, so I need to keep using the Grave Buster, but I have to wait for him to respawn. You can see the zombies can only pop out of two lanes, which is really unfortunate for them, and I'm going to keep getting rid of the other that third lane that keeps popping up there. So I'm not sure where these tombstones are coming from, that they just pop out of the ground like that. Normally, you plant tombstones, you don't just, you know, I don't know, they don't just pop out of the ground, so it's a little unique that they are doing that. You can see the zombies are really desperately coming out of these ones, which makes it very easy, because I just get to spam my finger clicking on it, and it'll just kill the zombies. There it comes. Oh, one of the one of the guys came up from up there. Now some of these are really fast, some of them are really slow, which makes me laugh. Cause some of them pop up and they're like, Brrr. and this one right there, look at that guy go, look at him go. Man, he's fast. That was a fast zombie right there. Go ahead and get rid of that one as well. I'm getting it down to maybe one lane if I can, which will be pretty funny because then the zombies will get really screwed. Go ahead and do that one right there. But remember they keep like more tombstones keep popping up, so it's not like it's always easy enough to do. And, yep, there we go. That'll get rid of that one. So now they'll, the zombies can only come out of one lane. How unfortunate to be a zombie. Okay, now they come out of two. They keep cheating and popping up tombstones. But back down to one, and you can see I can just keep tapping right here. I'm doing massive damage to multiple zombies. If I can get rid of this one in the back here. And now they're all coming out of here, so I can just keep tapping right here with a mallet. It's like cheating. It really is cheating. Oh, and the zombies cheated by having them come up in other lanes. That's unfortunate. Those guys in the back were really slow, though. <laughs> that was funny. I'll go ahead and get rid of this one down here. Oh, these guys have... Look at, all, look at them all coming up there. Look at them all. That was impressive, zombies. Impressive. Get rid of that one at the top. Once again, they're back down to one lane. Oh, I was about to say that, but then he popped up. No, don't eat my plant. Oh, my gosh, they're going to get there. Oh, they tried really hard that time. Oh my gosh! Look at them all! Look at them go! No, don't eat my plant! Oh my gosh, the zombies! I am tapping like a madman! Here comes the final wave of zombies! And there wasn't that many, and this actually is a lot easier than what I was just going through. I'll go ahead and let that really slow zombie make his way to the finish line. I actually have two more of these things I can go ahead and use, and I like to do it anyways, because... This will give me one more extra coin, so if I can use this last one and wait for it to go ahead and eat that down, that will give me one last coin, and then I can collect my diamond from the trophy. So there you go, guys. That was uh, Whack a Zombie, and you can see it's a little bit tougher than it was in the Let's Play. They actually were getting a little close there at the end, but it wouldn't have really mattered. There still was a runaway lawnmower to kill them, which would have killed like 30 zombies at one point there, so that was pretty funny. Uh, so hope you guys enjoyed this episode of Whack a Zombie. Next time around, guys, we'll be making our way on to Big Trouble Little Zombie. Oh, can't wait. Till then, take it easy. Peace.